offensive line has been that way all year long. Uh, when they play well, we have a chance to play well. Um, I think that's going to be important. We've been able to get healthy and have those guys together, working together in practice, really the last couple games of the year, um, and that's going to be important today. Thanks. Uh, first of all, I want to start by thanking the Yankees organization and the New Era Pinstripe Bowl. We've had a fantastic week. Spending a week in New York City over the Christmas holidays has been unbelievable. You know, our team has been able to start the season out uh, in Dublin, Ireland. Spent a week in Dublin, Ireland, ending the season uh, in New York City uh, has been awesome. It's been first class from top to bottom. So, so thankful for that. Also, would like to uh, wish our Big Ten brothers. Uh, best of luck in the bowl season. I think today's our first uh, Big Ten bowl game, and, and I wish everybody the best of luck representing the Big Ten. is a tremendous honor for us, and uh, looking forward to it. So I've had a chance to interact with Coach Dazio and, and the BC staff and players, first-class organization. Um, you know, really, really excited about getting an opportunity to compete and play with them. Um, but we've had a great week. We've had a great week from top to bottom. Look forward to getting out and playing the game. And I um, want to, again, thank everybody for the opportunity. Uh, for Coach Franklin, uh, your team finished 2-6 uh, and six down the stretch, but still is able to get here to the first bowl game since uh, the sanctions were imposed. Uh, how significant is that for the program? And, uh, and how emotional do you think your team will be as a result of, of having the opportunity to play in a bowl game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously having an opportunity to get back um, in bowl games uh, through an NCAA perspective, but also through a competitive perspective has been very, very important for us moving forward. The extra practices that everybody talks about, the expectations, I think those are very, very important. Um, I, think, I think, you know, the emotions really for us isn't necessarily about the bowl. It's just about our family being together, the 2014 Football team will never be to get together again after this game. We've talked about that all week long. Um, to me, that's what's special about bowl games is being able to keep the family together, you know, for for a few more months, whatever it may be. So um, we've had a great experience. Guys have been really good. Um, just like Coach was talking about, an opportunity to go out and represent Penn State the right way, uh, play the way we're capable of playing, and and finish on a real positive note. You know, all, all the members of the teams will get bowl rings, but there's something special about being able to put on that ring bowl champions. You know, they're going to look down and see that ring, whether it's on their finger or in a display case for the rest of their life. And you want to end on a real positive note for us, you know, probably a little bit more significant in terms of sending these seniors out that have been through so much in their careers and sending them out on a real positive note and laying the foundation for the expectation moving forward. So, um, you know, really, really proud of our guys and uh, thankful for the opportunity to be here. Uh, they call BC O-Line U. From what you've seen of their front five, do they live up to that name? Yeah, you know, I'm always studying um, things about different organizations, different programs, uh, the Yankees, BC. Um, all week long, you know, I, I looked at their season and how it went, um, the success that they were able to have on offense and moving the ball. You know, uh, one of the biggest differences between, I think, our two programs right now is they had five starting uh, graduated seniors on the offensive line with over, I think, 140 starts. And I think coming into the season, we had one returning starter with 20 starts. So that was one of the biggest differences that I noticed right away, and that's going to be a tremendous challenge for our defensive line. Uh, fortunately for us, um, our defense has played well this year. Um, our defensive line has played extremely well. Stopping the run has been something we've done a good job of. We've talked about that all week long with our defense, and specifically with our defensive line. It's going to be a tremendous challenge. You've got a group of men that have been playing together for a long time, got a lot of experience. Um, so I think that's going to be a real focal point of the game, their O-line versus our D-line. I think it's going to be an interesting battle to watch all day long and a tremendous challenge for both sides. It's going to be a real challenge for us. I think you know, it's a two-headed monster in a lot of ways. And what I mean by that is uh, with the offensive line that they have and the running backs that they have and then the style that they play with, that they're always trying to either outnumber you, outflank you, or outleverage you through formations and personnel groups. Um, and, and they're running a lot of read plays. So if you overcompensate to try to stop the running back, then the quarterback has a chance to pull it and get on the edge, and, and, and he's a threat. Um, he's a legitimate threat. And um, 
that's going to be a real challenge for us. Um, I don't think there's been really anybody that's been able to stop both of those things this year for them. You know, the traditional running plays with the running back carrying the ball or the quarterback. Um, one or the other, if not both, uh, have, have hurt people all year long. So it's a tremendous challenge for our guys. Our excited, guys are excited for the opportunity. I think the other thing that goes hand in hand with that is they've done a great job uh, with ball security and time of possession, and those things go hand in hand. Um, so that's something that we're obviously very aware of and um, are going to need to do a good job of that. Go ahead, sir. James, the, the bowl game, do you, obviously you want to win your play, coach and win and everything, but do you coach any differently in terms of if you go either way, maybe a seniors more out there for, for that first play or something, or, or maybe younger guys get more playing time looking to next year? Is there anything you do differently than you would in an October game against the Big Ten? No. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I mean, all we're trying to do is put our players and our program in the best position to be successful. Um, so, you know, we're not going to do anything like that um, to just pay honor to those guys or ceremonial type things. We're, we're here to win a game. And at Penn State, we're always going to play the guys that give us the best chance to do that, which I know Coach Dazio probably feels the same way. Um, so much respect for those guys. But, you know, we're trying to prepare our guys for life as well. And, you know, in life, you're going to have to earn the things that, that you get. And our, we want our guys to do the same thing every single day in, in practice, every single day in games, uh, in the classroom, and everything they do. So you know, we won't do anything different than that, but to allow our guys an opportunity to compete, put the best guys on the field, and give them an opportunity to go out and be successful. So um, I, I do think you know, there's a little bit of a, of a um, reward that is a bowl game, but at the end of the day, it's another opportunity to go out and compete and play together as a family. Second row on the left here. James, you mentioned earlier in the week about none of your guys on this team having been on the team that has won a bowl game. How did you address that with them? And have you noticed that having any sort of impact on them this week? No, it's just, I think it's just unique and it's, it's just different. I mean, um, you think about Penn State. Um, you think about the history, you think about the traditions, you think about, about all the success. So, so to think about that we have five classes um, in our program, um, most of which have not even been in a bowl game, let alone none that have won a bowl game. You know, you look at the records against Boston College. I think in our last three games, you know, um, Boston College has, has had some success, um, you know, over the history. So I think, you know, leaning on the, on the staff, we have a staff that's been together for four years now for the most part, and, um, and have had some success in these types of games. Um, learning from experiences that the guys have had in the past, things that didn't work for them or didn't go well. And what I always just try to do is just try to be very open and honest and upfront and discuss these things. Um, and then what are we going to do to make sure that you know, these things don't, don't hurt us moving forward? Um, what did we learn from past experiences? You know, what are we going to do to make sure um, we're putting our guys in position to be successful, that we have the right balance of having a great bowl experience without losing perspective of what we're here to do. So, um, you know, we, we just try to be very open and honest and direct with our guys and talk about, you know, what are we going to have to do to put ourselves in position to be successful come game day. In your film evaluation of, of you know, the progression of their, their team this year, what has been your impression of the way they play defense and, and what challenges does that pose for your offense? And, as, a, as an addendum to that, uh, your, your familiarity with Don Brown and I guess all the other, some of the other coaches on the staff, uh, conversely, is that of any advantage whatsoever? Yeah, you know, I, I think both of us, we've been in this industry a long time that we know each other well. Um, Frank Leonard is one of my closest friends. We used to carpool and drive to work every single day together when we were at Kansas State. Uh, Don Brown, uh, another good friend who we worked together at the University of Maryland, had a lot of success. Um, you know, um, Kevin Lempa, I also worked with at the University of Maryland. Those guys have been coaching and, and being successful for a long time. So we do have some background, some familiarity there, but they do as well. Um, so I think, I think that's, that's going to be an interesting chess match to watch during the game. But they do a great job. I mean, uh, Don's, you know, uh, uh, a guy that I would put into the chaos category. I mean, he's bringing people from all different angles, all different looks, all different personnel groupings. Um, I think he believes strongly in trying to confuse 
uh, offensive lines. Um, you know, I know he's a big believer that most college offensive lines can't handle movement, so you're going to get a lot of movement, you're going to get a lot of uh, pressure. They're going to try to confuse the decision maker, the quarterback, and, and he's done a great job of that. You know, they're aggressive on the perimeter uh, with their defensive backs because they know typically the quarterback's not going to be able to hold the ball very long and they take all the short throws away. He's got a great scheme and does, and does a great job. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to competing against him and uh, tremendous respect for Coach Adazio and his entire staff that he's put together.